Hey guys, this is Jaser. In this video, I'm going to take a look at 1, 3, 9, 4, find luck in an integer in an array. This is a request from one of my subscribers, I think. And uh, he asked me to do a review on this question, so let's do it today. We're given an array of integers. Or integers. A lucky integer is an integer which has a frequency in the array equal to its value. Return a lucky value and uh, return a lucky integer. Or if there are a multiple one, return the largest one. If there is no, return minus one. Uh, well, like for 2, 2, 3, 4, 2 has the frequency of 2, so 2. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. 3, 3 is the biggest. There's nothing here, so return minus 1. Yeah, of course, so... Well, the naive one is just we do the counting, right? It will count all numbers and find, find the possible largest one. Let's try to do that. To do the count, we I need to sort uh, store a map like count map. For let num of ar if count map has um. So we got the count, and uh, what what we do? We do we find the maximum, right? Uh, for let num count of count map if num equals to count and uh, num bigger than max, max equals num, right? And finally, we return the max. This should work. Let's try some in. Yeah, we are accepted and uh, let's try to analyze the time and space complexity for time. This is a uh, linear time. This is, for the worst case, it's still be linear time, right? Because for each, for that, there will be for case that uh, there will be no uh, same numbers, so all unique numbers. Okay, so it's actually linear time. Space. We're using a map to keep track of the number and the count. Okay, so it's linear time. So could we do, do better? Mm, I don't think so. We are giving the input that seems like ascending, but it seems that it's not that it's it's not ascending, right? It's not ascending, right? If it's ascending, I think we could do it better. We can skip like for this case, we could just to check get the two and detect that uh, if this is still a two and next one is not two. We can improve it, but it's not, right? Uh, let's try to do like let's try to write it in a new way, which is sorted first. But no, but we're not told that it's sorted. Sort first, okay. Ar sort. If sorted like uh, one, two, two. Three, three. We could check, check at index, check at ARR, num, uh, ARR, ARR zero. If it is one, then we check it, the, this one. 
and ARR, ARR, 0, minus 1, right? Yeah, should be uh, ARR, 0, but this one should not, right? Okay, so now for uh, let i equal 0, for let no, while i smaller than ar dot length, um, num equals arr, arri, because it's sorted, we can check if, okay, let at max minus one. It's already sorted. Oh, we can use reverse, right? If we find one, we can break. Cool. If we do it as descending and we check and uh, the nums, okay. If ARR num I, the num of I would be uh, if one, it's I plus itself, plus one, minus one, right? So it should be I plus num minus one. If the cell, if, if the, if the two, like for two, If this one is two, then it is. Uh, it might be so might be uh, matching our request. So if it's equal to a r uh, uh, equals num, and the next one must not be num, right? Which is this should not be num. If you find this, we could break right? because we are already uh, sorted. Max equals num, and finally, return max. <gasps> oh, my bad! I forgot to update the index. Uh, if we find this, we break. If not, If not, move to the next different number, right? Which means while while a r r i plus one equals a r r num i plus one. This might be undefined, so it will break. Break it there. Cool. Eh? Time you mix it? What? Okay, we sorted max i. We get the first num like uh, two. For the sample here, we get four, three, two, two, right? So we check if uh, zero, zero, three, like here. If it is num, no. So we go to while. Next one is num. We plus one. Ah, God. Oh yeah, and then finally we will still plus one. Ah, oh, my God. We should break. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. We should move it to next one. 
if next one is the same as while ARI equals to num plus one. This is this is what it should be. Cool. We're accepted, but you see, we're not that fast, right? For this one, the hash map will much better. But uh, anyway, but actually the, the sort sort thing might be a little easier to understand. But it's harder to implement. Okay, time complexity. We have a sort, so uh, it should be n log n. For this, this will, be, this will be just a linear time. Okay, so it's for space. Uh, we use nothing, right? Yeah, we, so it's constant. You see, uh, for, the, for the naive solution, we will use extra time, but less space. But we can trade the space, uh, for, trade the time for space. We can use an extra linear space and uh, we will be much faster. Cool. So that's all for this problem. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.